Hi, I'm Patrick from the Adamus Principal. I've just gonna, got a few slides to talk about, and the first one is Euro Dollar. Just my favourite chart, really. Technically, uh, everything's working a charm. Um, for those who follow me on LinkedIn, the key line in the sand is 150 in the big fig. Okay, so we had a bit of a correction, desk talk at China stepping in, but that's another kind of story. I've been around long enough to to agree with this desk talk. But nonetheless, we still remain below 150 in the big figure. Now, I've been bullish dollar, broadly bullish dollar, for quite some time. And I always like to give an update on the US macro picture to support the, the technical picture. Now, just uh, let's just run through some of the quick stats on the US macro size. You know, you've basically got GDP year on year 2.8. Last quarter was 4.1, phenomenal. Um, some of the models I've been looking at uh, point to much, much higher. You've got unemployment at full capacity, right, 3.9%. Um, you've got inflation headline 2.9 year on year. It's, it's, it's really, really good. PCE, healthy, 2.2. Core inflation, not too bad, thank you very much, at 2.4. So this, you know... Something phenomenal will have to change for me, for me to, to change my view on, on a bearish euro dollar. Along with that, you've got wages, which is, okay, could be better. Participation could be better, but it's not tanking, right? It just is not tanking. The key thing here, guys and, and ladies, is in September, there's going to be a, a big uh, budget spend, uh, probably 100 yards. This is going to lift CPI and PCE. You know, this is all good. If nothing else, it's not going to um, weigh on it. Yeah. So with that in mind, with that in mind, I'm still core short. And my, you know, I'm wrong at 115, the big figure. So that's euro dollar. So the next slide is euro sterling. Now, this bad boy is really, I, I actually don't like trading it, but... It, it is quite indicative of um, a resurgent euro dollar. Cable's just been, uh, you know, dead cat bounces all the way, and I don't see that changing. However, um, a hard Brexit is a default uh, for me, and, you know, how much is that priced in? You know, you've got carry trades, a positive carry on, on sterling, you know, you've got rate hikes, but I get a sense, you know, I talk to a few desks, I get a sense that, you know, they're doing it now so they can give it back later. Um, so, you know, if you're trading, I, I, I think I was buying cable on, on a positive carry. Well, I got, I got taken out, right? So, so that's not really enough um, for, you know, in Euro sterlings, um, I, I quite like 90s to sell up there. That's quite a bit of a level up there. Um, so that's it really for Euro sterlings. Moving on to dollar yen. So this is a bit like um, a sort of not knocked down, but maybe not knocked out. Um, it's looking quite tired. And all I can say is around, you know, we're approaching some key moving averages around here. Um, the US-China uh, meeting at the end of August could lift this substantially higher, um, especially if there's, if there's um, some, some positive news on the, on the trade wars. Um, I'm told it's, it's low-level talks, but obviously the, the market was quite, ju um, you know, fairly jubilant on Friday um, with this Reuters story. But uh, as I say, I'm probably wanting to buy not, not too much lower than the high 110s. Um, and, uh, you know, today, you know, is very, very sub subdued. But let's, let's just um, l wrap on this. Dolly Yen, um, we, we are looking quite tired, but all it takes is a headline and you'll get a good lift.